Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever and wherever you're watching this video from. Welcome to Nostec Academy. In this video, I'm going to explain the ECZ grading system, which uh, the Zambian School Certificate and also the GCE, which stands for the General Certificate of Education. Now, not only that, but also, I will explain how many marks you need to get in both paper one and paper two for you to get a what? A distinction. Okay? For you to get a distinction one or distinction two. Okay? Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. When you look at this table here, this is the grading system. Uh, we have in Zambia the ECZ grading system, the standard one. Now, you have grade in this column, you have grade, here you have the range, here you have the standard. Okay? Now, let me start from the bottom to uh, bottom, uh, going to the top there. Where you see X, X here, X, X, then here it is written absent. On your certificate, when it is written X here, it means that you are, you are what? You are absent, okay, for that subject, for that particular subject. You registered it, but you didn't what? You didn't, uh, you were absent. Okay, you didn't write. All right. Then, nine, nine here, this is when you score between zero and 39 marks percent, I mean. 39, 0 to 39 percent, it is what? It is a 9, grade is a 9, then standard, it is called unsatisfactory. Okay, unsatisfactory. All right, let's go to the other one. We have 8, and 8 here, this is when you score between 40 and 44. This is a range, eh? 40, between 40 and 44, and the standard is what? Satisfactory. All right. Next is a seven. A seven, a seven, this is when you score between 45 and 49. And this is, this is what? A satisfactory as well. Okay? A six, 50 to 54 credit. Uh, a five, 55 to 59 credit as well. A four, 60 to 64 which is what? A merit. Three is a merit as well. 65 to 67. Uh, this is supposed to be 67, 60, 69. Okay. 65 to 69 is a merit as well. We have the two. This is where I'm very much interested. Okay. Because I don't believe... Um, in mediocrity, I believe in what excellence. I believe in excellence. So this is where I'm interested. Okay, now a two. This is when you score between seventy and seventy-four. It's a distinction. A one, a one. This is when you score between seventy, going up up to hundred percent. Okay, that one is also a distinction. Now, when you look at these grades, you, have, you, you notice that from 40, from 40 to 100, you have two, 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 two standards. You have two satisfactories, two credits, two merits, and two what, and two distinctions. Someone may ask, how many marks do I need to get for me um, to get a distinction in mathematics? This is where now we come to this party. Mathematics. So I'll just do for mathematics, for other subjects, maybe next time. Okay, but in this particular video, I'll just do for what? For uh, mathematics. All right. So mathematics paper one is 80 marks. Is 80 marks. Mathematics paper two is 100 marks. Hundred marks, okay. So, so total number of marks here is 
8 plus 100 total is 180 marks. Okay? That is the total what? That is the total, the total number of uh, marks in mathematics. Now, what you are going to get in paper one, what you are going to get in paper one will be combined with the, what you are going to get in paper two will just be added. Okay? Now, how many marks do you need minimum to get a distinction one, the first distinction? Okay? You need a total, you need at least 135 marks. 135 marks. Okay? This is the minimum, right? If you want to get your first distinction. 135 marks from, from both paper one and paper what? Paper two. When you combine them, what you're going to get, you should be above 30 equal to greater than or equal to 135 okay greater than or equal to 135 for you to get a what a distinction one are we together so this one is going to be divided by the total number of marks which is 180 marks then you multiply it by percentage 100 percent because the grading here system here is in percentage Okay, so we need to convert this into what? Into the number of, uh, into percentage. So we're going to cancel this and this, we're going to cancel. So when you do your calculations here, you're going to have 75%. Okay, 75%, which is here, a distinction one, 75%. Okay, so this is the minimum max you can get 135 for you to get a what? A distinction. Okay, so someone was asking, um, not, not only one, a number of you in the comment section, uh, you're complaining that paper one was a little bit tricky or hard, so to say, then paper two was okay. Let's say in paper one you get, since it's 80 marks, let's say you get 30, okay? Let's say you get 30 marks. Then paper two, you do yourself a favor and get um out of 100 since let's say you get 70 70 marks total number of marks here is 100 okay 100 what 100 marks so in short you're telling me what if i get 100 marks in total what is my my grade so it will be 100 divided by 180 multiplied by 100 what 100%. This is the total number of marks in total. Uh, paper one, both paper one and paper two. This is what you get. So what you get divided by total number of marks times 100 is the, your, 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 um, your grade here. So what you're going to do, let me just be quick so that I don't waste much of the time in calculating. Okay. So 100 divided by 180 multiplied by 100 is 56. Okay? 56 when you just round this one, or oh, 56%. Now, where is 56 falling? 56 is between 55 and 59. So it's a 5. It's a credit. Okay? You get a self reward. A credit if you get 100. Now... If you get, let's say, if you get, um, let's say, in both paper one and paper two, you get 120. This will be the last calculation. 120 over total number is 180 multiplied by what? Multiplied by 100%. So we're going to say 120 divided by uh, one. 180, okay, it is 67, 67%, 67%, look at this, 67, what is it, 67%, 67, 65 to 69 here, so you have a 3 in mathematics, you see, you have a 3 in mathematics, so let's say in paper 1 you get, this is this 120, let's say in paper 1 you get, um, 
45 marks. Okay. So in paper two, you're supposed to get how many marks for you to get that one? 75. Okay. 75. For you to get what? 120. 75. So um, that's how it's been calculated. Okay. There are a lot of factors that are considered, of course, but this, basically, this is how it's done. Okay. Basically, this is how what? This is how it's done. So, um, mathematics is predictable. You should know that. Mathematics is, is predictable. You can know that I have failed or I have, uh, I have made it. Okay? I have made it because you know what you are calculating. You know what you, you, are, what you are solving. Okay? So, uh, that's it in the, for, for this video. Remember, we've covered the Zambian um, ECZ grading system. Examination Council of Zambia uh, grading system, the Zambian school certificate, and the GCE, both GCE. We've looked at this table here from X here up to 1, okay? Distinction 1 here. And we've also covered mathematics here. Mathematics, paper 1 is 80 marks, paper 2 is 100 marks. Then, e, and also the number of marks, the minimum marks you need to get for you to, uh, uh, to, to, to have a distinction one, the first distinction. Okay, so we've discovered that you need at least, uh, you, you need 135 marks. That is uh, the minimum. Okay, 135, 135 marks. And also we've done some examples. Okay, so that is, that's it for this video. Thank you so much.